Hi, I'm just going to make a quick video to demonstrate the uh, golden spiral. And this is the uh, vZone software that I'm using, and that, that's a representation of the Zone Tool Hub. We'll back out here. And um, what we have, I'm not sure why I have, okay. I can actually change that real quickly to smaller. I have like large hub being used there. I can do the real tiny ones. Okay, so what we have here is is a sequence that never truly stops, and I've terminated on because of resolution and the ability to make it. But this is a golden spiral in that it uses the golden proportion or phi. Some people say phi, but nonetheless, if we zoom in to the very tip here, this could continue on in a smaller fashion infinitely and it won't run into itself and then on the other end it could grow larger on this side here this part here could all keep going and it's made up of just three tetrahedra and they have obviously shared faces but they're different and I've isolated two of them here um, this one here I initially discovered independently of the other two and I call it the remainder tet and in this case I'm now calling it the W tetrahedron so I have basically U, V, and W but they don't add together in that sequence because um, this in between the two there's there's these lines here that I have that's showing another tetrahedron has four of the same face and that's was dubbed by uh, a guy named Tell Anderson many years ago uh, as the U module, so that's the U tetrahedron, that's why I went with um, UVW. And then lastly, this larger one here is V, the V tetrahedron. I also call it the unresolvable tetrahedron for other reasons, um, in that it continues on and on with the um, uh, this shape called, which was Buckminster Fuller dubbed the E module, and that's a different bit, and you can look at other videos, but Okay, I just wanted to show you these three tetrahedra because the preceding one of this, what I call W, is this one here, and that is, let's say, a V. So, and the one preceding the V is a U. So, this tetrahedron in here, its volume plus this tetrahedron's volume here adds up to make this tetrahedron's volume, and then that continues on. So, then this tetrahedron and this one makes the next one and so on and so forth and this is true it's actual ratioed volumes that grow by fire the uh, 1.618 the mean golden mean and things like that and so I don't know if people find this beautiful or not but I find it mathematically exquisite that especially since I independently discovered the tetrahedra and didn't know that they work together and and found out that they do and I just I'm just really tickled by that. It's probably my best mathematical discovery. This is another um, kind of a more completed one in that I've uh, filled in the um, all the faces. But it kind of has an, an interesting, and there would be a left and a right-handed twist, by the way. They, there's, there's two um, directions that it can go. And, but as I say, what we're looking at is just a segment of something that would continue on greater and lesser in volume. And the two pre preceding tetrahedra add up volumetrically to the next tetrahedron, and that continues onward. And this is just really a section, a snapshot of, of a whole fractal-like phenomena that occurs in with this geometry. And um, I've been able to modularize it to a pretty good extent and I'm, I'm pretty happy with that but this is probably my best discovery um, getting back just just in case you had any questions what that blue line was I was connecting the centers of the tetrahedra for a while there just to, I'm not really getting a very good view of it but there's these blue lines here and it kind of made a, an interesting jagged line and actually I think there's a a 90 degree turn on one of them right here and I haven't really figured the angle on the other one but I'm sure it's probably pretty obvious but nonetheless that's what that's all about um, you if you want to um, 
Invest the Time in VZone Software by Scott Vorthman. You can download it for free, and he will work with you. And I could send you these files if you're interested in looking at them, and you can actually deconstruct them and, and various other things. All right. Thank you.